Let's we discuss about the prohibited islands in India and its people as effectively autonomous. Friends, welcome to Or Here Blogger Lakshmi Narayan and subscribe to this channel if you are new to here. North Sentinel Island is one of the Andaman Islands, an Indian archipelago in the Bay of Bengal which also includes South Sentinel Island. It is home to the Sentinelese, an indigenous people in voluntary isolation who have defended, often by force, their protected isolation from the outside world. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands Protection of Aboriginal Tribes Act of 1956 prohibits travel to the island and any approach closer than 5 nautical miles in order to prevent the tribal community from getting foreign diseases to which they have no acquired immunity. The area is patrolled by the Indian Navy. Nominally, the island belongs to the South Andaman Administrative District, part of the Indian Union territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. In practice, Indian authorities recognize the islanders' desire to be left alone and restrict their role to remote monitoring, they do not prosecute them for killing people. The island is a protected area of India. In 2018, the government of India excluded 29 islands including North Sentinel from the restricted area permit regime in a major effort to boost tourism. In November 2018, the government's Home Ministry stated that the relaxation of the prohibition was intended to allow researchers and anthropologists with pre-approved clearance to visit the Sentinel Islands. The Sentinelese have repeatedly attacked approaching vessels. Such attacks have resulted in the deaths of two fishermen in 2006 and an American Christian missionary, John Allen Chow, in 2018. The Onge, one of the other indigenous peoples of the Andamans, were aware of North Sentinel Island's existence. They also have strong cultural similarities with what little has been remotely observed amongst the Sentinelese. However, Onges brought to North Sentinel Island by the British during the 19th century could not understand the Sentinelese language, so a significant period of separation is likely. British Visits British surveyor John Ritchie observed a multitude of lights from an East India Company hydrographic survey vessel, the Diligent, as it passed by the island in 1771. Pomfrey, an administrator, travelled to the island in March 1867. Towards the end of the same year's summer monsoon season, Nineveh, an Indian merchant ship was wrecked on a reef near the island. The 106 surviving passengers and crewmen landed on the beach in the ship's boat and fended off attacks by the Sentinelies. They were eventually found by a Royal Navy rescue party. Portman's Expeditions An expedition led by Maurice Vidal Portman a government administrator who hoped to research the natives and their customs, landed on North Sentinel Island in January 1880. The group found a network of pathways and several small, abandoned villages. After several days, six Sentinelese, an elderly couple and four children, were kidnapped and taken to Port Blair. The colonial officer in charge of the operation wrote that the entire group. A second landing was made by Portman on 27th August 1883 after the eruption of Krakatoa was mistaken for gunfire and interpreted as the distress signal of a ship. A search party landed on the island and left gifts before returning to Port Blair. 288 boatmen visited the island several more times between January 1885 and January 1887. 
Indian exploratory parties under orders to establish friendly relations with the Sentinelese made brief landings on the island every few years beginning in 1967. In 1975, Leopold III of Belgium, on a tour of the Andamans, was taken by local dignitaries for an overnight cruise to the waters of North Sentinel Island. The cargo ship MV Rusley ran aground on coastal reefs in mid-1977, and the MV Primrose did so in August 1981. The Sentinelese are known to have scavenged both wrecks for iron. Settlers from Port Blair also visited the sites to recover the cargo. In 1991, salvage operators were authorized to dismantle the ships. After the Primrose grounded on the North Sentinel Island Reef on 2nd August 1981, crewmen several days later noticed that some men carrying spears and arrows were building boats on the beach. The captain of Primrose radioed for an urgent drop of firearms so his crew could defend themselves. They did not receive any because a large storm stopped other ships from reaching them, but the heavy seas also prevented the islanders from approaching the ship. A week later, the crewmen were rescued by a helicopter under contract to the Indian Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. The first peaceful contact with the Sentinelese was made by Triloknath Pandit, a director of the Anthropological Survey of India and his colleagues on 4th January 1991. Although Pandit and his colleagues were able to make repeated friendly contact, dropping coconuts and other gifts to the Sentinelese, no progress was made in understanding the Sentinelese language and the Sentinelese repeatedly warned them of if they stayed too long. Indian visits to the island ceased in 1997. The Sentinelese survived the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and its after effects, including the tsunami and the uplifting of the island. Three days after the earthquake, an Indian government helicopter observed several islanders who shot arrows and threw spears and stones at the helicopter. Although the tsunami disturbed the tribal fishing grounds, the Sentinelese appear to have adapted. In January 2006, Sundar Raj and Pandit Tiwari, two Indian fishermen were fishing illegally in prohibited waters and were killed by the Sentinelese when their boat drifted too close to the island. There were no prosecutions. In November 2018, John Allen Chow, a 26-year-old American missionary trained and sent by Missouri-based All Nations, was killed during an illegal trip to the restricted island, planning to preach Christianity to the Sentinelese. Seven individuals were taken into custody by Indian police on suspicion of abetting Chow's illegal access to the island. Entering a radius of 5 nautical miles around the island is illegal under Indian law. Fishermen told police that they had seen the tribe's people dragging Chow's body around but the authorities had not been able to independently verify his death as of 25th November 2018. The case is being treated as a murder, but there has been no suggestion that the tribesmen would be charged. The Andaman and Nicobar Protection of Aboriginal Tribes Regulation 1956 provides protection to the Sentinelese and other native tribes in the region. The Andaman and Nicobar administration stated in 2005 that they have no intention to interfere with the lifestyle or habitat of the Sentinelese and are not interested in pursuing any further contact with them or governing the island. Although North Sentinel Island is not legally an autonomous administrative division of India, scholars have referred to it and its people as effectively autonomous or independent. Thank you.